Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I saw a user ask about creating a cookie cutter. I thought the design was pretty slick, so let's get cracking. So my friends, a user wanted to make this cookie cutter in Tinkercad and was trying to import an SVG, but once you do that, you do not have many editing capabilities. So let me just show you how you can build something really similar really quick in Tinkercad. All right, friends, so the first thing I want to show you is how to name things. I'm going to name this cookie cutter, and you just always want to have them labeled so later if you're looking back, you can track them down. The first thing we want to do is find the tube. And when you bring the tube out, you could just stretch it to Crazyville and stuff, but it's easier if you type in your numbers because then the parameters match. I'm going to do a radius of 35. I want a wall thickness of 1.5 because I think that's going to print well and be good for cookie cutting. I want to take the sides and make them all the way to 64, and I'm not going to do a bevel or bevel segments. Then I'm going to take this design and I'm going to make it skinny like this picture I showed you right here. Now this one's a little fatter at this end, so you could modify this to get a little more close, but I want to show you just how easy this is too. So this one's tricky. We're going to do Control D, and then what I've really got to have you understand is when we rotate this, you're going to touch the arrow keys and no mouse in between it. So I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees and see the hands are off. I'm going to use the arrow keys to move it. What happens is Tinkercad memorizes these moves. Now, without touching anything else, I'm going to go back to Control D again and again and again. And we have just almost instantly created that cookie cutter. I'm going to grab the entire shape and I'm going to group it. Notice it's got all the stuff in the middle and this one had it cut out. If we go back and find the whole cylinder, change its sides to 64 so it's round. You can pull it to the middle, hold down Shift, and stretch it so it gets to be the size you want. And then when you select them both and click a line, we want middle and middle. This does not quite come out to this spot where they intersect. So I'm gonna click just on the hole, and now I'm gonna hold down Alt and Shift, and it stretches in every direction till it gets to that spot right there. Now when we grab our two shapes and group them, and almost instantly, boom, you have created that little cookie cutter you were interested in. Now once again, there are lots of ways you could modify this. You can play with lots of different shapes. I really like that tube because you can set the thickness of these walls to exactly what you want. If you wanted to do it manually, I'm going to show you real quickly. If you take the sides of this shape and then you stretch it out, you could combine a couple of these to get that shape that you wanted. So this will be a little more round out at the end. Just do Control D to make a second one. Do the hole and then check your measurements. See how... See how this one was 32 and a half? I'm going to hold down shift and shrink this one and make it a little bit smaller. But then I'm going to stretch the height so I can make sure it cuts right. And then you could just nudge these in to where you wanted that shape. This over here is the amount of nudge you're using each time. So you could find those exact walls that you thought were cool and you could stretch it out. I'm going to stretch it to right there so it cuts a little bit on that end. And then when you take those two shapes and group them, you would have that same cookie cutter shape. Not as nice, I don't think, but you can tweak this and adjust it to get that exact shape you want. Change the height, and then once again, I'm going to just move this out here. I'm going to take this one off to the side and hide it. All right, friends, so before I make this into the cookie cutter, I want to double click it and I'm going to stretch this front end out just a little more. So see, I'm editing and I'm getting that thin line I want for the cookie cutter. I think that would probably be reasonable. All right, friends, so now that I've got that other one hidden, I'm going to move this into place and let's do that. Control D, which is duplicate. I'm going to grab this rotation arrow. If I come way out, it goes one degree at a time. If you stay closer to the shape, if you stay close to this shape when you rotate, it uses those inner tick marks. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. Notice it's nudging very small. That's because I set that grid to 0.1. Remember how I told you you cannot click things? You can click that. Just don't click anywhere else or it cancels the movement out. So I am trying to find that spot where these intersect. 
I'm going to try right there. And then I'm just going to do control D again and again and again. And I've just made that same type cookie cutter. Once again, I will group it. And let's bring out a whole cylinder. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to make this pretty large from the get go so it just fits. Let's do a line. And I want it to be centered and centered. Notice you can click the view cube so you can look at it from that other corner and easily get to that middle button. You can see I came really close to the exact spot I want that to be, so I'm just going to group it. Then if you end up finding out this is a little large, you can hold down shift and squeeze it to the exact size you want. Just remember that you do make your walls thinner when you do that. Real quickly, friends, this is the show all. And now you can arrange these as you would want for if you were trying to print them. Friends, I hope this helped you a lot. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.